it's a different thing now with the life that I have today. Pero marami ang nagmamasid. I mean, a lot of people eavesdropping on this conversation would say, Kumusta ang buhay kaya ni Nanette sa labas ng showbiz? I mean, can you give us an idea of how it is like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so busy. Um, I, Ibang iba na. It's very, it's very different. Um, equally fulfilling. Um, very busy, just like when you, you're in show business. Um, I do much more traveling now that in, in my life now than I did when I was in show business. Um, but I think we're all doing important things. Whether you're in show business or you're not, you're all kind of working on an important mission. So it's not that much different. That we have case. roles to play. We have roles to play. Did it come to a point when uh, you started to look at it from a very serious point of view? What is my process? How do I choose my roles? Not yet, Dana. I'm not talking about Dana yet. Okay. Uh, did you get into that point? No, I didn't. Um, I, I wish I had. I think my process was was very clear cut. What I said was, I just realized at some point that, you know, Filipino fans are amazing. They look up to um, the artists and 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 really try to. Um, as a, as a model, as a role model. And okay. when I, I didn't realize I was a role model until l much later in my career. And when I found out that I was a role model, that's when everything changed. And I said, I wait, I need to be much more careful about the roles I choose. I need to be much more careful about what I say in public, um, what I wear. You know, I, I became very conscious of the example I was giving to the public. When did that happen? It started to happen a little bit before Dharna, but it's solidified in Dharna. Because I remember um, I was on a float. Uh, I, I think it was going down Rojas Boulevard and I was on a float. And I was looking down and you had mga lola, you had mga apo. And you had, yeah. Yes, they were all there and they were looking up and they couldn't, I think, separate me from the character. And therefore, I had to be very conscious of how I behaved, not only as a, uh, not only to protect the Dharm Dharna image, but also protect to protect what they thought was how do you behave in the world. And I wanted to be careful that I was modeling the behavior I want to see in the world, okay. rather than talk about things that were very frivolous or, you know. So I've been even to this day, I'm very careful about the messaging I put out in the world. I think that's super important. Important. Hanggang ngayon sa mga panahong ito, uh, do you get people uh, saying, "Are you, are you Darna?" Yeah, uh, yes, but I mean, they'd have to be very old to like say that. Okay, sorry, that's our general. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm putting us down. But oh, ouch. <laughs> okay, no, no. Pero prenat this way yon yung pagsabing. Darna. No, clearly not enough because everybody thinks that's so funny. How the way I, I don't know how My did accent. I say it with an accent? I us? said it with an accent. Yes. Uh -oh. okay, Darna. Come on. Bam bam. Can you just make okay. us? Okay. He does it very well. Darna. Oh. <laughs> Is that the way I would say it? <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, okay. he remembers everything oh, about it. He that's remembers so sweet. everything about it. Is there any other important movie that you remember having done? I don't know that it's important, but it was certainly one of the more memorable movies, that, and, mm -hmm. and I so enjoyed making it. So, my first movie with Fernando Po. Um, I did. A, I subsequently did two more movies with him, but I loved my time. Any time I'm spending with FBJ is just golden. I love the man. Bucket, so, man. He is. It's kind of the golden age of cinema. He was like the last, right? So he was a complete gentleman, um, larger than life personality. Um, just really amazing. And when I tried to retire from show business, I remember I was in Hong Kong and he called me and he said, you have to come back and shoot another film with me. I promise it'll be your last movie. Um, and so he said, if you come back for two weeks, I'll finish all of your scenes and that's it. So I, I came back. I said, Ronnie, I'll only come back for you. And I did because he is just such an amazing man. And, and I feel really bad that we've lost him, but yeah. he is incredible. Great man.